please welcome from Egypt, Tariq Moman. Please welcome from Egypt, Omar Massad. It's going to be a shot that's going to hurt Mossad. Tarek Moman, he holds the ball slightly and puts in the boast. Again, it's straight on the forehand side. Tarek Moman keeps looking for a possible cross court. Mossad's not doing it. Three six. Quarter to 11 last night. But I think his body will get going. We saw it against Nick Matthew. He actually got quicker towards the end. It doesn't matter how quick you are. That's not coming back. Well, that's trademark. And out, seven three. Well, he's hitting the ball. This is the most accurate we've seen Omar Mossad hit the ball throughout this event. Down. And there's another unforced error from Tarek Moment. 11 4 again to Mossad. Oh, this is perfect for Mossad Omar Mossad. Hypnotic, isn't it, DJ? It is, and it, I mean, I said it earlier, but this to me it reminds me so much of James Wilstrop. Well, the same stature, but the ball control and the shot selection. Sure, yeah. yeah. Of course, that obviously possesses more more raw power. One four. Well, Moman has to come up with a shot like this to win a rally in this second game. I mean, his performance yesterday against Nick Matthew oh, was, was absolutely stunning, wasn't it? It was stunning. The, the difference was, though, Joey, tonight, when the boast is coming in from Tarek Moman, Mossad's movement, to me, looked sharper than Nick Matthew's yesterday. The Englishman was ever so slightly laboured going into the front of the court and one wasn't able to put Moman under enough pressure, whereas Mossad is he's a different animal tonight. Well, that's Hello. the trademark backhand volley drop shot. This is the quirk of Tarek Moment. He has that loopy swing on the drives, but when he goes for the volley, he is like Hello. a viper. He just suddenly comes out from the tee and shortens Four, his eight. swing. It's class. Well, it's uh, absolutely superb. The, the focus of Omar Mossad is just two games to love. unreal. His concentration and professionalism in this semi final, he's not being overawed by the occasion. as severe as it comes and it's a hard working rally Tarek Moman's trying to move Mossad around the court but there the inch perfect no length to set up that's perfect squash PJ Then it's the finished product, isn't it? He's not missing his targets tonight. He's setting it up so set. well, though, with the with the length, the accuracy of the hitting the lines. He's getting to the back of the court, and then he's got all these different artilleries. I wouldn't recommend it, but then I don't have the racket skills of Omar Mossad. I think any, if anything is slightly loose, he'll take a chance. Oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness me! I can't believe it. We're talking about Omar Mossad going for it. He doesn't need to go for it because that boast has hit the floor. Hand out. So Ten two eight. match balls. Match ball. ball mark.
Oh, he's hit it into the tin. Oh, Momos has done it. What an unbelievable game. performance. Nice. What a run so far. Three games Again, to love. Quite wonderful to see between four. the two guys. He's unbelievable. He can't Eleven believe it eight. himself. The focus of this man in this semi-final has been astonishing. Well, it's going to be a very interesting interview. 50 minutes, Omar Mossad overcomes Tarek moment. 11-4, 11-4, 11-8, three games to love. Final. Yeah, you know, uh, three months ago, uh, my family had an accident and I lost all of them. So, uh, yeah, I hope I can win tomorrow and give this title to my father because uh, he deserves it. And, uh, yeah, he's a real model for, for me. And, uh, yeah, I hope I can win tomorrow and, uh, yeah, giving, giving this trophy to him.